Hey YouTube community, what's going on? I'm back again. I'm back. So uh, this time, what I'm gonna do? Uh, I figured I wasn't gonna do this video at first because um, I was like, I don't know if I want to cover this or not. But <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, so I mean, I figured why not? I covered a couple um, beefs on this channel. Um, I did Nicki Minaj's and uh, and Remy Ma, um, and I pretty much gave my verdict verdict on that video. Uh, if you want to, you can go back through my channel. Um, I I did actually review that, um, and then we had uh, the Drake and Pusha T beef, and I have reviewed that as well too on here. Um, I'm definitely a hip hop head, so you know I'm definitely on the hip hop beef thing. You know I, I like to hear, um, I, and honestly I'm I'm traditional, so I like to hear you know dudes go back and forth on, on wax and whatever, you know versus dudes these days going back and forth on like Twitter or Instagram or social media. Like nah, I want to hear, I want to hear y'all go at it. You know, skill wise, you know, so there's all differences on the mic, not on social media. Let me tweeting each other talking about, oh, yeah, I'm going to get you. No, I want to hear both of y'all rap. I want to hear both of y'all bust each other's heads on the mic. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going I'm to go through each track. Um, I'm going to break it down. I've, I've actually heard both of these tracks uh, a few times. I heard. I heard Rap Devil, hang on a second, I'm going to plug up my laptop so it doesn't die on you. Okay. Is it charging? Okay. So, uh, so without further ado, um, what I'm going to do is, the first thing, I'm, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get into Machine Gun Kelly's disc and break down Rap Devil, tell you what I thought about it. And then after that, I'm going to do Eminem's diss, Kill Shot, which was the response to Rap Devil. Um, I've, now, again, I've heard both of these tra uh, diss tracks quite a few times. And um, I've heard, that for the people that say that, that this was tied, I have a clear winner. Um, not really a fan of neither one of these dudes, to be honest with you. Um... I, I did like Eminem's new album, Kamikaze, because it reminded me so much of like the old school Slim Shady vintage Eminem, and I like that. Uh, but before that, I thought like all his albums were really bad. I'm sorry, I thought Marshall Mathers' LP2 was pretty bad. I didn't like Revival at all. Um, I, I think I barely even listened to Marshall Mathers' LP2. I just, the few tracks I heard off of it, I didn't even listen to it. Um, so I haven't really been on Eminem for a really long time. Um, I know the dude can rap. I've always given dude props. I'm like, dude can rap, but your album, like, his albums are just not listenable to me, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, if I get any Eminem stands on this video, don't attack me. You know, I already know how that's going to go. Stands. But hey, it is what it is, you know. I don't think the man makes good music. So it's whatever. Uh, yeah, not since his stand days has he made a really good album. So, so now that you know there's no biases on this video, let's get into these, let's get into these, uh, these bars and this disc, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion of who I thought won. Okay, so going into Machine Gun Kelly's disc, uh, he says, okay. Hey, somebody grab him some clippers. His fucking beard is weird. Um, I don't like that bar at all. I, I did not like that. Uh, I don't know. This this felt like. Uh, let me see here. So he says, "Hey, somebody grab him some clippers. His fucking beard is weird." And I know where this came from. This came from like an old Eminem song this line, and he took it from the old Eminem track and tried to flip it on him. I just think it was a pretty light flip. Uh, that wasn't very powerful in my opinion. Uh, Tuck talk from a rapper paying millions for security a year. I think my dad's gone crazy. Yeah, Haley, you right. 
Dad's always mad, cooped up in the studio, yelling at the mic. Eh, I, I don't, I didn't like that. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, I mean, okay, so, so you're saying, so, okay, so right here he says, like, tough talk from a rapper paying millions for security a year. Um, so he's basically saying Eminem, Eminem's talking, talking all big and everything, but he's paying millions for security a year. Um, I don't, that line just doesn't hit hard to me because, okay, this is why, okay, so this is why that line did not really do it for me neither. Okay, so the the thing is, is we know, we know what type of place Eminem is in right now. Clearly he has millions of dollars. Clearly he can afford to have security with him. Um, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of rappers have done this. Even some of the most hardened rappers have walked around with security. Uh, I'm pretty sure even at some point 50 Cent walked around with security. I, I think it's... Like, I, I don't... That's that's such a universal... I think that this is kind of universal in a sense. And I think that's what takes the impact out of it. Um, I, I would prefer you to... If, if you're going to dissect another rapper, and I watch a lot of battle rap, so I know what to look for when another rapper is dissecting another rapper. I want you to hit him with some solid facts. Um, he Like the the line where he says, you know, um, let's see. And it gets a little further in here. He says, talking about, I'm going to call up Trick Chick, man. You suck like a bitch, bitch. Like, like it's just the way this is put together. I don't like this. So, I mean, these, these are just like, my problem with these is these are pretty basic lines right here. Like, this whole segment is pretty basic. It says right here, uh, I think my dad's gone crazy. Yeah, Haley, you're right. Dad's always mad, cooped up in the studio, yelling at the mic. You're sober and bored, huh? You're sober and bored, huh? About to be 46 year old dog talking about I'm gonna call it trick trick. Man, he's like a bitch bitch. So uh okay. I wasn't I don't I don't think I was I think this full segment I wasn't really impressed with. I was just kind of waiting on something that to like stand out. Um uh, never handle your shit, uh mad about something I said in twenty twelve. Took you six years and a surprise album just to come with a diss. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm going against MGK. He just, I don't know. He didn't have too many lines in here that, that really. I actually, at the beginning, I don't think he really heated up like that until he got further down. Uh, it says, Homie, we get it. We know that you're the greatest rapper alive. Fucking dweeb. All you do is read the dictionary and stay inside. And then, I, like, like stuff like this. Okay, this is a diss record. I don't... I, I, this has always been a thing about me. I don't know if other rappers have done it in their disses. I might have to go back and check. But I don't... I realize I don't like it when you compliment a rapper because you're supposed to be dissing them like you're supposed to be destroying them i almost feel like that's a contradiction why are you going to give him the accolade that he's the greatest rapper alive tell him no you're whack like say something whack about it. say like you're uh he 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 could have he could have dismissed that and said like hey um he could have he could have deleted that or whatever and said something like it says something about his his past albums like your past albums are terrible and you know, it kind of broke that down a little bit more. Um, I, I just feel like I feel like you complimented him in this line, and that was a wasted opportunity. Um, let's see. So, and again, right now, I'm really not impressed with anything he's saying here, um, because a lot of people told me that they uh, he he broke Eminem down with facts, but these aren't really these facts aren't strong. You know, I mean, like, it's not enough to, I don't think it's enough to, um, 
huh, how can I put it? It's it's not enough to hurt hurt Eminem, like especially if you're battling somebody like Eminem, you gotta come with some some heat. And I don't feel like there's any heat here so far. Um, he said, what did he say? Uh, so it took to you six years as far as I'm just to come with it, this. Oh, maybe we get it. Oh, you know, it's your greatest rapper alive. Fucking dweeb. All you do is read the dictionary and stay inside. Um, fuck rap god. I'm the rap devil. Come barefaced with a black shovel like the Armageddon with the smoke set on his body's laying this in it. Next was instrumental, I'm saying. Uh, okay. And then he goes to the chorus. Okay, I'm sick of them sweatsuits and corny hats. Let's talk about it. I'm sick of you being rich and you still mad. Let's talk about it. Both of us single dads in the Midwest. We can talk about it. We get goalie off size up your body and put some white chalk around it. Um... Verse was cool. Chorus was chorus was cool. It was alright. Um, so far, it just seems like it's a bunch of insults. Uh, like he's making fun of him, sweat. He, he, like, like these are these are childish insults. About to be, you're about to be 46 years old. Oh yeah, you're gonna talk about how old, how old he is. Um, so far, all I've got this at uh, this first verse is. His beard is weird. Um, he's paying millions for security. He's not really a gangster. Um, he's yelling at the mic. He sounds like a bitch, bitch. <laughs> like that's so that's so bad. <laughs> like, I, I do not like that. <laughs> now I'm like sitting here reading it too. I'm like this this is so bad. Oh my god. Okay. So like and then like. Let's see here. Yeah, I I didn't. I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like this whole verse. Verse. This whole verse. This whole first verse. Now I'm actually sitting out reading it. I, I guess it's. I guess the reason why people do like this is because I think it was the delivery, and because you could take a bunch of. I think you could just take a bunch of theatrics, and you could take like. Uh, you could take delivery and things like that, and you could put it on top of lyrics that's that are really mediocre. Because I'm reading a lot of stuff right now, and this is making me like rap devil less um, just by reading these lyrics. I don't think I've read any. There's nothing here that's really clever. Um, I mean, I mean, you guys heard me read it just now, and this doesn't sound clever. Um, this doesn't sound impactful to me. Actually sitting down reading these. I never actually sat down and like read the lyrics. Because at first, I, well, because when I first heard this diss, I, w I just, I was really lukewarm about it. I, it didn't really wow me or floor me or anything. He had a couple things in here that I thought was good. I'm going to get to that in the second verse. Uh, and then my fiance, she heard it. And she was like, she, he killed Eminem. And I was thinking, I'm like, am I being biased? Am I tripping? I must be tripping. And then I heard it a few more times. And then I think each time I heard it, I listened to the lines more. And I'm just like, I still feel kind of the same way about it. <clears throat> and then like just reading this here, I don't know. Just this sounds really, this sounds really boring. Like if he, if he were to just sit down and rap this, and not put any type of emphasis or anything, or delivery. Uh, the the he would have to he would have to put the theatrics on this because this does not sound that good. Um, like I said this is pretty this is pretty average. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we're going on to verse two. I'm sorry. I'm. I don't mean to. <coughs> Okay, so what's up? In fact, you actually blackballed a rapper that's twice as young as you. See, you're you're young, you're old, you're old. So now this is interesting up here. 
where he says uh, the fact that you blackballed a rapper. So he's like, let's call Sway. Let's call Sway and ask why I can't go on Shape 45 because of you. Uh, let's ask Interscope how you have Paul Rosenberg trying to shove me. So can't cover up the fact your last four albums is as bad as your selfie. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't know he said that. Oh jeez. He, oh my god, like that's what I'm saying, like he has some stuff he could really talk about in here, but he has some bad lines. Your last four albums is as bad as your selfie. Oh jeez, man. It's clever, yeah, clever approach right here, clever writing, y'all, at its finest. Uh, yeah, I don't... <sighs> Like, okay, like, see, like, I just feel like he's shooting himself in the foot on this, this diss. Because it's like he starts out with something good, and then it just, it fizzles out into a really bad line. Like, you still can't fuck, you still can't cover up the fact your last four albums is as bad as your selfie. Why do I care what his selfie looks like? I, I don't, I don't, that selfie crap, I don't. Oh, uh, man, that's not good. Uh, thought, I thought it was a bad finisher, but I see what he was going for. Um, now tell me, what do you stand for? No, you can't stand yourself. Trying to be the old you so bad that you stand yourself. I like that. That was cool. Okay, there we go. It took him so many lines to get to something that, that I thought actually kind of hit. That was cool. I like that line trying to be the old you so bad that you stand yourself that is fire i like that okay now now we're saying something uh let's leave all of the beef let's leave all the beef into 50 please and you're pushing 50 why are you claiming that i'm gonna call puff well you're the one that called diddy facts then went and called jimmy facts the conference called me in the morning they told me you mad about a tweet you want me to say sorry? I swear to God, I ain't believe him. Please say any so. The bit, the big bad bully of the rap game can't take a fucking joke. Okay. So. All right. So I'm, I'm gonna talk about this line too because I I really feel inclined to talk about this one. That whole that whole segment I just read. So he's basically saying right here. Um, And then again, he, he hits another, there's a bunch of another, a bunch of old jokes in here. Um, I did like the, I did like the fact that he talked about the Shea 45 thing. I think, I think that was, I think that was a bitch move on Eminem's part. He should have never called, um, he shouldn't, have, I, I don't, I don't feel like you should do everything in your power to take, to take food out of somebody's mouth it's like it's like when you uh like i feel bad when certain people get fired from jobs because it's like okay you fired this job this person from this job or whatever uh over something stupid and they you you're not looking at the fact that they're not only supporting themselves they have to support their family they have to pay their bills they have to pay the family bills they have to do this they have to do that so you're taking away uh, from this person uh, what they have to do uh, to survive. So I actually did like that segment of the diss. I thought this. Uh, I thought this definitely hit hard. Like it's like it's like you blackballed this dude, and then not only that, not only you blackballed him, but you cut all his back channels. So that's pretty. That's pretty. You know, Eminem. That's pretty messed up for you to do something like that. Just saying it. I know you're probably not going to watch this video, but that's my thing. Um, now, this is a line I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to skip this because after that, it's, it, 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 the last four I'm as bad as a selfie, selfie. Uh, that's just, I mean, that's referencing how bad his albums are, his last few albums were, and then on top of that, he's calling them ugly. It, it's, it's a little kitty insult, and then right after the stand yourself line which i really i really like um i wish i would have had more hard-hitting lines like this to be honest with you 
trying to be the old you so bad that you stay in yourself. I, I wish he, he actually put more bars in here like that. Um, but he didn't, so it's it's whatever. You have to, you, you got to go with what you're giving, right? So, and then he says, let's leave, all, let's leave all the beef in the 50. And you're pushing 50. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. Like, I, I got to put in that jab and that you're old. Like, come on, man. Um, and then this is the whole line going over the, the back channels. The Bantingham from Shea 45. So I'm going to skip all this. And, okay, so let's get to the selfie um, thing. Now, I'm 50-50 I'm on this. Uh, because he, he was talking about, like, uh, he's basically talking about, you mad? A, they told me you're mad about a tweet. You want me to say sorry? I swear to God, I ain't believe him. Please say it ain't so. The big bad bully of the rap game can't take a fucking joke. So he's basically talking about, like, he's basically talking about how uh, the the tweet, I guess, MGK uh, uh, sent him back in 2012, uh, or a tweet that he put out there saying he just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter. It's right here. So I just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter, and I have to say she's hot as fuck in the most respectful way possible because Em is king. Um, first of all, I, I don't care if you're joking or not. I, I, I understand Eminem has done this before, too, which I don't excuse him for. Um, I actually just found out Eminem started, uh, uh, did that. Like I said, I haven't listened to Eminem in like over 10 years, so, um, I've just went to other hip hop artists, but, um, but still that doesn't excuse the fact that you, you, you hollered at a, you hollered at an underage girl though. That's kind of weird, dude. Like MGK, you're, I'm, I'm just going to put that out there. You're weird for that. Like you're really weird for that. Like you're, you were in your. He was still in your like like your early twenties, but this girl was like sixteen years old. You know what I'm saying? This girl was still a still a kid, and he was hollering at her, talking about she's uh, she's hot as she's hot as you know I don't know what. So yeah, take that how you want to take it. Um, I'm I'm really fifty fifty on that bar where he says uh, the big bad bully rap can't take a can't take a joke because again like I still don't care if you're joking or not though. You're still talking about my underage daughter. So that makes you a weirdo. Uh, so let's go down to this. Like, if it was all for that, you shouldn't even put the uh, tweet out at all. I'm just, gonna be, I'm just keeping it real with you. Uh, so he goes, oh, you want some smoke? Not literally, you'll choke. Um, so I, I think... Is that what I think it means? Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. So yeah, because I this is a this little line right here. He's like, oh, you want some smoke, but not literally, you'll choke. So I mean, he's talking about. Um, they're saying he could he could be referring to. Uh, he could, he could be referring to, I guess, his character in 8 Mile B-Rabbit, because he literally choked in during a during a freestyle battle. I'm, I'm all genius looking at the lyrics, so. Uh, so, that was cute. It wasn't it wasn't huge, but it was cute. Uh, yeah, I nod your go. Stop complimenting this man. <laughs> just, 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 no, no. He's your enemy. He's your enemy. You are beefing against this dude. You're rapping against him. I don't want to give you. I don't, I don't want to ever hear dudes in battle rapping, like big up in each other in their verses, man. Just you're supposed to lyrically destroy. You're supposed to lyrically lyrically annihilate your opponent, not not give them compliments. This isn't the KOTD uh, compliment battles, man. Destroy this man. This is this is smack. This is URL TV. Destroy this man. Alright, so I don't know how you go, but I'm the gunner bitch. Got you in the scope. Don't have a heart attack now. Somebody help your man's up. We need some old A's. The real slim shady can't stand up. So yes, I'm saying like a lot of these are old jokes. <laughs> like a lot of these are like old jokes. 
And then the the course. Hello, uh, Marshall. My name's Colson. You should go back to recovery. I know your ego is hurting. Just know that all your fans discovered me. I uh, just know that all your fans discovered me. So yeah, so basically in this line he's talking about um all all of his fans is discovering him, discovering MGK now because he dissed him and them. That's basically all that line is. Um, and he said you should go back to recovery. Um, so he's basically saying he's basically saying um, in this one I, I I got this. He's basically talking about uh, the recovery Eminem was the was the good Eminem. And then I think that might be. Um, let me read the. Okay, yeah, yeah, and then he's talking about yeah, basically uh, uh, mocking like a. He's basically mocking like somebody who like is going through recovery. So he's like he's going like you know hello Marshall he like he sends hand like hello Marshall my name's Colson you should go back to recovery. That was funny actually I like that I do like that I'm not gonna lie that was pretty good. Uh, I know your ego is hurting. Just know what your fans discovered me. He like, damn, he's younger than me. That's so how he dresses better and I'm ugly. Oh, come on, man. You gotta suck with these insults. Like the this is the stuff I usually hate it in Battle Rat is when people just start starts referring to like jokes all the time. Because he has a lot of he's got a lot of old jokes, your ugly jokes. He has a lot of that in here. And I, I really think I really think that's filler, and he could have just got rid of that and and uh, and put stronger punches in that. I say his light bars, like some of these bars are so light. Uh, Stop all the thuggery, Marshall. You're living in luxury. Look what you've done to me. Dropped an album just because of me. Oh no, no, he didn't. No, 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 no. I take points off for that. No, 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 no. He didn't. Damn, you in love with me. No, 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 no. The reason why he dropped Kamikaze, and I and I understand what he's talking about. He's he's basically saying in this line that he's dropped he dropped uh he's basically saying he dropped Kamikaze just because he wanted to diss uh, Machine Gun Kelly, uh because of the I guess because of the diss that he put out on uh, Tech Nine's album. And that's not the reason why. The reason why he dropped Kamikaze was in response to the criticism that he got for Revival. That's why. Because that's what pretty much the entire album is about. And he has one little tiny verse about Machine Gun Kelly on, uh, 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 I can't remember the name of the track. I, I knew the name of the track. It's the one with him and Royce 5 9. But, yeah, this is not, no. Nope. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I do some battle rap too. Like, if your facts are not right, I, I usually do take all points. Uh, and I'm taking all points because of this right here. Well, he said, look what you've done to me. You dropped an album just because of me. Damn, you in love with me. It's like, no, he never dropped an album because of you. I'm sorry, this video is long. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is like a twenty. I'm I'm a, I'm probably gonna end up breaking these up into two different uh, uh, segments. So, uh, and then I think in my second segment, I'm just gonna tell you who I thought won. But uh, so going into this, but yeah, I'm sorry. I, I again, I, I I didn't like that line. I didn't like this at all. Um, And then he's basically saying he's basically repeating the sent himself again. He's basically saying when he when he said with the the trick trick you're a bitch bitch line. He's repeating himself here. Stop all the thuggery, Marshall. Marshall, you're living in luxury. Basically, why are you acting like a thug and being out acting like you've been in the streets when you've got money? It, it, he 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 basically mentioned the same line earlier in the diss. Uh, and then he says, "Look what you've done to me." Dropped an album because of me. Damn you in love with me. No. Nope. Not good. Uh, you got money, but I'm hungry. I like the diss, but you won't say them lyrics out in front of me. Shout out to every rapper that's up under me. Know that I'll never do you like this fuckery. Oh, okay. I think I know what he's saying here. 
um, without looking at the commentations. I guess what he's saying here is shout out to every rapper that's up under me. Talking about every rapper that's below me that's trying to make it. Uh, and then he says that no, they'll never do you like this fuckery. Basically, basically the way Eminem did him, he's like, hey, you know, if I make it and I'm helping you out and you're under me, I'm not going to do that to you. That's basically what he's saying. Putting that putting that salt in the wound on, on old Marshall there. He's putting that salt in the wound. So better after everyone loves you. Okay, pull, pull that wedgie out. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm reading these lyrics bad. I'm sorry. I'm not doing some of these lyrics justice. I, I had some of the flow in certain places, but... Pull that wedgie out of your dungarees. Gotta respect the OGs and know them personally. And I, I gotta respect the OGs and I know them personally. But you're just a bully acting like a baby. So I gotta read you a nursery. I'm the ghost of the future. And you're just Ebenezer Scrooge. I said I'm flexing when we can get it. I know it would be you. So... Uh, these are pretty, all these lines are very self-explanatory. Uh... Oh, I didn't even know he said this. Um... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm breaking down. This is just taking a while. I think this video is going to take this long. So, uh, he says right here in the bridge, right in shoddy because I got to roll this dope. It's a fast road when your idols become your rivals. Oh, okay. I guess that's, uh, he said that Eminem was his, uh, was his rival, or what was was his idol at one point until he got banned from Shady Forty Five, um, which again is rightfully so though. I, I think that's still rightfully so. Um, I don't think he should have. I don't. I don't think he should have worked every back channel. I think he should just did what was associated between. Just to show punishment, he should have just associated everything that was that was with Eminem that was associated with Eminem. That's where he should have banned him from. Not not every channel where he where this man has to make his money. Um, because of Eminem, that problem is between Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly, not Eminem, Machine Gun Kelly, and everybody that is helping Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly. That's where I think Eminem is definitely wrong at. That's really messed up to, to do something like that. Um... Faster when your idols become your rivals. Never hesitate to say to your face, I'm an asshole. Bitch ass motherfucker. Oh my god, Ronnie. Fuck cows. Is that his uh, DJ? Yeah, okay, Ronnie J is his DJ. Is, is the guy who made the beat for him. Um. Which I, which I think is funny because it even says right here that the same guy that produced his track for Rap Devil produced Eminem's tracks of The Ringer, and he produced Not Alike. That's the song I was thinking about. And Not Alike was the song where he dissed MGK. So I, I, I just thought that was kind of funny. The same producer who, did, who produced this is the same one that produced the song that dissed MGK. That's funny. All right, so he's like, uh, we know you're getting... Um, we <laughs> I read that all wrong. We know you get nervous, rabbit, and I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not doing these lines justice, but uh, we we know you get nervous, rabbit. I see Mama's spaghetti all over your sweater. Wish you would lose yourself on the records that you made a deck ago. They were better, according to them. You're a national treasure. Okay. Okay, and then, so yeah, he's basically talking about, um, he, he's basically, he's basically talking about, like, how bad Eminem's music has been, uh, since, uh, 
since since over a decade ago. He's basically ten years ago. Eminem made way better albums than than what he's been making in the past ten years. Uh, over the course of the past ten years, uh, and then he he basically goes into because uh, even at the line here he says, according to me, you're a national treasure. Uh, to me, your self is a feather. The type to be scared to ask Rihanna for her number. Just hold her umbrella, Ella, Ella. Uh, that's that's just a line where he's talking about. He he's such a he, basically he's saying you're you're so scared. He, he's basically talking about how scared how how scared he is comparing them how scared he is by saying you're so scared. Um. Um. You uh, you be scared to ask her for her number, but you're a sucker. You you suck. You don't sucker. You're, you're basically on your sucker. So what you do is you would just hold her umbrella. Basically, that's what he's saying on that one. Um, again, I I just think a lot of this stuff is really light, though. Um, I'm not afraid. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying how he said in the video. I'm not afraid. Okay, Oscar the Grouch, chill on the couch. You got an Oscar. Damn. Can anyone else get some food in their mouth? Um, so here he's talking about, well, I mean, this is pretty basic. I shouldn't have to explain this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he's here. He's talking about, you know, um, he's like, man, you, you're making all this money. You get, you know, you're getting these Oscars and all this stuff. Or can, can anyone, can everybody else eat? Okay. I'm not going to go through the rest of this stuff. I don't think I was really impressed with the rest of this. Yeah, again, he's he's repeating himself here again. Because he says, I'm 5'8", I'm 5'8", 6'4", 7 punches, hold your head still. Alright, looking at this line, I actually think this line is cool too. So, alright, so he, I just, I'm sorry, I, I went soft for a second. <laughs> Y'all forgive me for this. Man, this is a 40 minute video. I, I'm, oh, man. Okay. So, because I'm actually learning about some of these bars too. I actually think this is better than what I thought it was. Because when I first heard this bar, I was like, eh, okay. But, It says five eight and I'm six four seven punches hold your head still, so they're saying like um six so I guess five eight and six four seven punches and eight mile um so um now this I think this might be a reach a little bit I don't know if this is if MGK meant this but um it, this they're saying he might be alluding to a standing eight count. So basically, in boxing, uh, when a, when a referee stand or when a boxer is standing to his feet to make sure he's stable, it's called a standing eight count. So they basically give a a, a standing days fighter. They give him to the count of eight to get to gather themselves basically to get back into the fight. Um, so that's that's hence the five eight, the five eight, and I'm six four seven punches. Hold your head still. So that was kind of cool. I like that. I actually like that. Now, now I'm actually reading that. I didn't catch that during the disc. That was pretty good. Um, last time you saw Eight Mile was at home on a treadmill. Okay, so basically what he's talking about is, it, again, this is another you're not out in the streets like that bar. That's what I'm saying. This, there's a lot of repetition in this in this disc. But uh, so here he's talking about uh, last time I, last time you saw Eight Mile was at home on a treadmill. So he's talking about like. 
while he's on a he's on a treadmill in like his big mansion and everything, um, he's staring out over at Eight Mile. So that's the last time you ever saw Eight Mile. You saw Eight Mile from your your uh, your life of luxury uh, running on a treadmill. That 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 was not a very good. I mean, it was it was kind of basic, but you know, it's it's there, it's there. He he put it in there. Uh, you're named after Candy. I was named after a gangster. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm I'm just laughing because that line is not good. <laughs> it's like you were named after Candy. I guess because he's calling him sweet. And I was named after Gangster, so that's his way of calling calling himself hard. Pause. Uh, I was named after, uh, and don't be a sucker and take my verse off of yellow's off of yellow's album. Thank you. Oh, okay. He's basically talking about since you blackballed me, at least leave my verse on uh, yellow's album. I just want to feed my daughter. He's trying to set the money to support her. You don't want to talk about the action. Tell me the Addy. I'm pulling. Text me the Addy, and I'm pulling up scrapping. And I'm about my, and I'm by my fucking self. What's happening? EST captain, salute me or shoot me. Oh. oh, okay. It stands for everybody. Okay, that's the thing MGK I guess made up. It's called yeah. EST stands for uh, everybody stand together. Everybody stand together. Salute me or shoot me. So you're either with me or against me. Uh, okay, um, I'm not really reading the rest. I'm reading the rest of this, but I'm not really saying anything that stuck out after that. Uh, <clears throat> so I only had two lines in here that I really thoroughly enjoy. Um, that was the, uh, the 6 eight and I'm five, six, four, seven punches, hold your head still. Again, it was cool. Um, I, I, I understood the bar better now, but, um, but it wasn't a huge standout line to me. Like, um, uh, let me go back. I'm sorry. This is like, this is like a 40, this is like my longest video I've ever made because <laughs> I'm doing a breakdown. But, okay, so the, the lines that I really liked in this, um, my standout bars, and I like to look at these in, in battles too, um, when, when I do battle raps, when I watch battles, but, uh, the, the, so my favorite lines in here, and I'll, and like, I literally only found two that I was, like, really crazy about, and that was the, um, yeah, trying to be so old, so bad you can't. Stay, trying to be the old you so bad that you stay in yourself. That was that was fire. I'm sorry, that was fire to me. That's out of this entire disc. That was probably one of the best things I ever heard in here. Um, that and I really like the because some of the, again some of these bars are just too repetitive for me. Um, I mean, he, he worded it all different, but they're, they're basically the same. He's basically just, he, 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 this is basically a filler. This, this is full of filler. That's my problem with this disc. It, it's got way too much filler in it. He, he needed to cut some of the fat and, and actually put some good verses in this. But I did like the, uh, the stand yourself bar. And I like the, I like how he broke down the, uh, the shade 45 thing and how, Eminem uh, basically went into, basically took his whole power to cut all uh, of, all of MGK's back channels, and and I'm with it too. Uh, I'm I'm with him on that. Like that was a bitch move. Like, how are you going to take food out this man's mouth? He's got to feed his daughter and his family. You know, ban him off of your channels, ban him off of your stations, but don't ban him from getting his money. You know what I'm saying? I'm never mad at somebody getting their money, you know? So, um, yeah, I, I think, I, I will flat out say I think Eminem is a punk for that. I think he's wrong for that. He should, he shouldn't have, uh, uh, did that. Because to my understanding, from what I heard, like, that, uh, that caused MGK's career to suffer for a bit. 
And I think that's evil to do something like that. I really think it is. So, I'm sorry. This is almost a, this is like a 45 minute <laughs> breakdown. Uh, I'm probably going to have, uh, I'm definitely going to have M&M's up and I'll be doing a breakdown of M&M's. So, the video will probably be around the same length. Um, so, and his response is called Kill Shot. So, that's going to be my next video. So, if you guys want to check out the, the Kill Shot uh, breakdown, you can. But as far as this, uh, this thing, I'm going to be honest with you. I thought this disc was pretty light. Um, this was a really light disc. Because uh, I can, I don't, I don't know if delivery does it for me. Because even when I go back and just read, I, I went back and read Sheether from, uh, from Remy Ma. And that, she had a lot of bars in that. Like, she has some bars in that. I thought that was better than this disc. And I didn't even think Sheether was like one of the best disses I ever heard. You know, it's not a, it's not a, a ether or um, or a hit 'em up or no Vaseline. Like though, those were powerful. This is because it hit. Those hit hard. Those hit home. Rap Devil doesn't hit home like that. Um, I didn't even think. And as much as I like Sheether. I still didn't think it hit home in certain places, but in certain places it did. It hit more home than this did. I just felt like my problem with Rap Devil, again, is he just had way too many repetitive bars. Um, it was a lot of insults in here. I'm not a fan of insults and, and rap battles. I want to hear you. I want to hear you say somebody's life. I don't want to hear insults. I don't feel like he really hit him with too many facts. Like, even reading it, even reading it and going through it myself, I was like, there was not a lot of factual stuff in here. It was literally just a lot of him calling Eminem old, saying he's ugly, um, talking about, uh, and, and saying his albums weren't, his past albums weren't that good, which is very true. I'm very with you on that. But we already know that. Like, everybody knows that already. What do we not know about Eminem? That's, that's the meat of a diss. What do we not know about Eminem? We didn't know, um, look, to give you an example, real quick, before I end this video, to give you an example of what I'm exactly talking about by breaking down your opponent, say like, uh, look at Pusha T's album, Story of Added On, perfect example. No, it didn't have a lot of crazy bars in it, but it had some facts in there that we didn't even know. We didn't know Drake had a secret child and he wasn't letting him come over, uh, 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 what he say? Deadbeat motherfucking plant border patrol. Like, we didn't know that. Like, that was a shock to everybody. Because people were like, man, I'm gonna go look and see if Drake got a kid there. Like, we did not know that. That was that was a hard body blow. That was he broke that man down in that song. He talked about the kid that he wouldn't let come over. He he put up the he put up the he, he killed Drake immediately. When he put in a, uh, when he put the picture of Drake posing in blackface, and then put on the story of uh, the story of OJ beat from uh, from 444, he bodied him with that. I came to America to share my Giovanni. What is this? Wow. Well, okay, that was weird. Anyway, but yeah, like that's my example of breaking somebody down. That's why that's why the story of added on is miles above Rap Devil miles above it because he was hitting with stuff we didn't even know about drake didn't waste time making fun of him or, or drake pusha t didn't uh waste time throwing insults in there doing this he broke him down but she's like no y'all need to know about this y'all y'all want to see y'all's idol fall here it is and he he laid it out so beautifully i just feel like this is boring i feel like it's too much filler in it way too much filler um, and it's just, it's repetitive. It's very repetitive. Except for, except for a couple lines that I thought hit, a lot of this was really repetitive. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't believe how many times that he mentioned, uh, Shade 45 in this. He mentioned it, like, four times. I'm like, okay, okay, dude, let's, let's move away from this. You, you told us about this already. Go to something else. And he didn't, so. Alright, and if he did, 
Uh, it was it was him going back to another you're old or you're ugly joke. So yeah, this this wasn't really that good of a dish, y'all. Uh, but if you think it was or you disagree with me, just comment below. Let me know what you think, and I will see y'all in uh, the Eminem uh, kill shot video. All right, see y'all.